All righty. We're back in Shiverdale. Tonight on Cat Chronicles. Wait, wait a second. What, is, what the what the fuck is going on? Oh no. Wow, the performance is really bad. AM. Oh god, this chat is killing me. Well then... Without further ado, let's... Uh, just get started. Is this a... Uh, Yeah, this seems to be like a, a small side path. I wonder what we have here. Hmm. Just some runes, I guess. Alrighty. Let's follow the trail to Braville. It's called Cropsford. They call it. They call me Cropsford because I can afford some crops. <sighs> okay. It seems like over these. Uh, last years of streaming I've really come to the conclusion that I am absolutely not funny at all 
So I have to make up for this by being uh, a very calming, relaxing stream. One that you can watch to unwind. To have some nice, fun memories. Enable traveling, yes, perfect. Yes, we're off to a good start, Rex. But truly, I am not funny. Any recording that I watch contains at least 99% unfunny moments. The only exceptions are when I'm currently getting drunk. Oh, give me a second, I need to. I need to check it. Good look at this. This is some intro. This is a nice castle front. Look at this place. Look at the anisotropic filtering on the fucking doors. Why can't Mountain Blade Warband look like this? But to be honest, it fucking does. This looks exactly the same as Mountain Blade Warband. Which isn't really a, um, a praise in any way. Even that Mountain Blade is like, what, what do I know, 15 fucking years old? 19? I don't know. It is tainted as fun. Yeah, I used to play Mountain Blade a lot. Uh, I actually... Think, yeah, I actually think that like uh, the first time I actually got into streaming, or at least video recording, was due to Mountain Blade. I still have long ass recordings of of Mountain Blade battles, like just sitting around on my uh, on my backup hard disk hard drive. It's pretty interesting, because there's just no audio from my side, but there are so many pauses where it seems like I was actually talking. That I'm starting to think that it, I just didn't notice that the reco audio recording wasn't working. Probably a precedent to all of the missing recordings from this uh, from this game. Oh, interesting. Should probably lie down and uh, get a nice area of effect spell here. Yeah, like with Wizard's Wrath, for example. And just spam the fuck out of this and uh, hope no one notices. Oh, whoops. Uh, hello. Hello. I've contracted Heldron, are you? Well, what? You don't need to attack me. Oh. Yeah, okay, you guys take care of that one. So, yeah, I think uh, it was our president to uh, all of the missing recordings from this playthrough. All in all, I uh, enjoyed Mountain Blade Warband a lot. I didn't play the vanilla game. I mean, who really does? I played an expanded version of uh, the vanilla game. I think it was called Flores. And really took my time with it, but uh, given a few small cheats here and there, I eventually managed to conquer all of the all of the lands of Calraria. I still should have some GIF of the whole process around. Like, I um, I conquered a central city with a, sm with a small army after uh, splitting off from the Vagars. And uh, then, yeah, I just uh, started making treaties and uh, just being overly aggressive which turned out to be extremely overpowered because the AI really wasn't that aggressive they just stood around and did sieges but sieges take 30 days in game and in 30 days you can basically amass an entire army um, get them the best weapons and just fucking obliterate the army standing in front of your city so why the hell would you ever do a siege? I actually tried that once with like 600 soldiers and it didn't work so I have no idea how it's 
how the AI is still doing that. Anyways, I think I still have a GIF of that somewhere lying lying around somewhere. I also posted that on Nine Gag, but I don't know where that is now. Hello. Hello. Well, what are you doing here? Hello, my friend. A word of advice: watch for goblins if you're heading north. Mm-hmm. Why so? Watch out for them if you're heading north. We ran into goblin war parties northwest of here while starting to build a new settlement. Okay. My family and I are still trying to figure out what to do. We spent everything we had to buy the land and supplies, so we can hardly go back. Say, mm -hmm. do you think you could help us? We need to get the goblin. I had a good feeling about you, friend. Marisa. You should talk to Marisa. Okay. Take care, I friend. I think we should just and get yourself pack killed on our account. Go. Have faith, Alois. I'm sure my father will think of something. My father. Your father was the one that got us into this mess. I'm tired of you always defending him. Okay. I don't want to get into that relationship trouble. <laughs> Hello. Well met. Come, warm yourself by our fire. No thanks. You've agreed to help them clear the goblins from Cropsford? Cropsford! Great news. I'm a crop. I can afford a crop. That's why I'm from Cropsford. Camped here. And it looks like Cropsford is right in the middle of a goblin war. Okay. So we just the kill both factions? Are infested with goblins. Uh huh. Normally, goblin. But two tribes. So I said the world tribes are crossing the crop. Okay, yeah. Goblins have their own reasons for doing things. Don't make sense to us, usually. But I've learned a lot. Each mm -hmm. tribe guards a head in its lair. Whose head? I don't know. A sacred tribal totem. Anyway, mm -hmm. if you want to rile up a goblin tribe, steal that tribal head. head. Which is often what a rival tribe... I'd lay odds that the war between the two tribes is because of a stolen tribal head. Nor the reason for a war to... So, to stop the war, all you need to do... Is Sneak in a Timberscar cave, find the stolen tribal head. head. And return to the crackled wood gave goblins. Unless you want to do things the hard way. I want to do things the hard way. Well, you could always just fight your way into cracked wood cave and kill their shaman. Every goblin tribe is led by a shaman. But she mostly stays. But kill the shaman, and the tribe will dissolve into confusion. Okay, how about we kill all of the tribes? And don't underestimate the goblins. They're more dangerous than they look. Oh, really now? Not as dangerous as me. Okay, um... Let's just go to the bridge here and check where we are. Uh, I've never seen this river before. This is pre pretty much unknown territory to me. Not gonna lie. No, come on. Why is there always fucking Morrowind people around? Ugh, I hate these... Bandits, whatever they are. Okay, you know what? Let me just ch quickly check whether I have that GIF. The recording is running, don't worry. What? Oh, come on, it's crashed. Well, anyway. Well, that's a perfect time as ever to, uh, to search for the fucking uh, GIF, I guess. Okay, let me find it. Uh, da, 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 da. Mountain Black Warband, come on. Oh yeah, I found it. Found it, found it, found it. Da, 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 da. Yep, I found it. Perfect. Some things always stay around. My files are too powerful, you fucking... Oh, yeah, it's 50 megabytes. <laughs> uh, damn it. Well, what to do, then? I will just... I will just... 
play the image, I guess. Does this work? No, it doesn't. Come on. It doesn't, it can't play GIFs. JIFs. Ah. Okay, let me, let me edit it in like... Come on, how do I do this? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna compress this one and post it into the chat. Oh my god, it's still too large, are you kidding me? Okay, here is a here's a screenshot of the whole process. I documented every single fucking bit. Orange is like Swadia, brown, black is the Nords. Yeah, that's true. I could upload it to uh, Imgur. Maybe I did that. Or oh fuck! I'm not. I'm not allowed to open the, the Chrome right now. I'm not allowed to open Chrome. <laughs> Yeah, in some of these moments I wish I had, um, I went Nitro. It ain't working. Okay, you know what's weird? Sometimes when- yeah, okay, th yeah, this, uh, this shit happens. Why does this shit always happen? Of a healer. It just fucking drops me in the Tiber Septim Hotel. But the weirdest thing is when I when I load up the re uh, the real one, when I load it up again, it drops me at the correct location. I, I have no idea what this game is doing, honestly. I've started to accept that some things just really don't make sense, but it's just, it's, it's just totally wild to me. It's a fucking long time to load, doesn't it? So yeah, uh, I was uh, with the Vegas first. <laughs> Could see your <laughs> unsubbed Japanese series. Yes, absolutely. They could see and totally understand that I am watching uh, the pet girl of Sakura So unsubbed. Because I am a man of culture, 
I only watch unsubbed things that I don't understand. Okay, let's go through like the um, the different stages. So at the fir in the first stage, there's um, so there's like four, six factions in Calradia. The northern ones are the Nords. Then there's the Vagirs, which are white. The orange ones are the um, I don't fucking know what they're called. Uh, Swaria, Swaria. Then there's uh, Rolok, Rodik. Rodok, Rodok Republic or something. Then there's the Turks and then there's the Saranids. And And yeah, so the map just shows stages when I was uh, with the Vagirs, which are white. So from z before zero one onwards you can see the Vagirs expanding out and slowly take out take up a lot of space. And a lot of villages and stuff. The Nords also started expanding around that time, which is a bit weird. Basically, uh, Suadia got, ki got killed off pretty much instantly. You know what, maybe I can show this whole uh, image slideshow. Yes, I can just take the entire one. this working yes it's working okay so here we go yeah you can see it now so yeah this started out uh, pretty much in that way yeah okay wait it's not in the right order I think So yeah, the blue part is me. The blue part is my kingdom, It's uh, with, which has its central part in Dirim. And yeah, I started expanding out a lot. Uh, the Nords became a bit of a threat eventually. But yeah, I basically just started consuming all of the Vega territory. While the Turks basically just existed in this one place. They got a bit, little bit of stuff back very far in the mountains. It didn't really matter because uh, I would just uh, absorb even more stuff. Meanwhile, uh, the Vagers were getting fucked from all sides. And the Rodox uh, used the expansion of the Nords for a little bit of um, leeway on their side. Not that it really mattered much. Because the Saranids in the south were really up to no good. Started making trouble in the neighborhood. And yeah, that's the point where I just really started taking a lot more uh, territory. And eliminated the Vagers. That was an interesting siege. From there on it was just non-stop conquer conquering. I have no idea how I got these two um, small side villages over there. But yeah, basically I, it was really difficult to invade the uh, kingdom of uh, Saranids. Because they had a lot of fucking soldiers. There were like uh, several battles with 600 soldiers on each side. But overall it just took a while and... Uh, with a lot of effort, I was able to uh, take their territory. As you can see, it turned more and more into a Cold War situation. The Nords were my allies at this point, I believe. And... Uh, it's kind of difficult to remember all of this, but yeah. The Rodox really didn't have much going for them at this point. So yeah, let's just skip forward a little bit. The Serenids were were removed from the map. 
Oh yeah, there was like one last bit. Yeah, so I push a little bit forward, one bit at a time. The Rodox got a little bit of stuff back. This is when it got a bit more difficult. Yeah, basically J Angel Kala became one of the focal points of this entire thing. Same as uh, Tilar. But as soon as I found and got Veluka, it was only a matter of time before I got all of the rest. So yeah, I got uh, Kala and then it was only a matter of time to uh, connect the rest of the dots, so to speak. And yeah, the Rodox were no more. And at this point, it was only the Nords versus me. And it wasn't as easy as you would think because there were still like rogue lords trying to get back their castles and you had to suppress their efforts and so on. Took a little bit. But after ages, I finally got another city. Which, which, this was like the largest siege of the entire playthrough. It was like a thousand five hundred people versus a 2,000 in the city. And from there on, it went pretty much downhill for the Nords. Um, because all of their forces had been decimated at this one city. And I pulled a coup where I had half of my army here and then retreated. They were all going to that city. So while they were gone here, I just, I just conquered everything. I just conquered everything over here while they were trying to uh, get to Sarkov and... Uh, get it back from me. <laughs> Which they did, I think. They did get it back, but it's... Um, but it didn't really matter. Like, by the time I got all of this shit, they had already found out about my plan, and there was nothing they could do. So yeah, it was only Ushal next. Uchkal and yeah, from there on it was only getting Sargoth again, some last bits here and there, and then here was the final siege, which was pretty boring to be honest, but that's where it started, that, but that's basically it. It was a very, very long campaign, and... Uh, I always thought when, well, when Mount Blade 2 comes out, I'm going to do basically the exact same thing again. But I'm not really sure if I have the time to do that anymore. It was a pretty cool thing to do, but... Uh, it was a pretty janky setup, not gonna lie. I couldn't beat a single... I couldn't, like, beat most of the basic enemies by myself. Because of my character build. In a way that was fine because I always had uh, strong unit tactics. Oh hello there. Luna you have to fight them. Oh fuck. Yeah you can just, you can just attack them and like I will just not look at it, okay? Hey, how about you and me have a little chat over at the at the riverside? Are you fucking kidding me? Regen. I have an enchanted sword that doubles all the damage I do. There we 
go. What the fuck? What the fuck? What is your health region? That took way too long. Alrighty, um, yeah, let's see. What the hell is this thing? Fort Cedrian. Uh, I don't want to look on my map now. It takes so long to load it. Anyways, uh, we were going to the um, to the Lost Spire that was that is supposed to be somewhere around here. So uh, let's not waste any more time. 9 FPS. Are there more enemies? Yes, there seem to be. Oh my god, really? They're not taking any damage. Tell me that's yet another one. Okay, come on. It must be somewhere around here. I can't see anything here. I'll be frank. Maybe we need a better vantage point. Oh look, there's a there's a no, small little hut. Hello. Oh, cute. Farmer Jonathan's cabin. Hello, Johnny. Darkest darkness. Mega Prince. Oh! A rusted blade helmet. Quite intriguing. Well now, let's follow this plot this path here. Maybe this will lead us uh, to the right place. It does seem like this uh, was made for people to go on, so probably lead somewhere. I really have no idea where I am. I've never been here before. These guys first. Now the prophet ranting about the end of the world. Hello. No. Yes. Heard no. Yes. Nothing I'd like to talk about. Goodbye. I guess they're just here to uh, watch over the woods. Nothing really strange about that. 
Okay, let's see where this leads, just before we turn towards the tower. Oh, there's a valley. Interesting. Can we get a vantage point over the area? Yes, but that doesn't lead us anywhere. Southeast. I have no idea where we are. But I'm not getting lost. I'm literally just uh, looking around. It's, it's not getting lost. Woodsman's Lodge. Well then. The new potential for that. Uh -huh. I mean, where would you get a new flat if it's more expensive? Is it at least like, is it at least bigger? Greetings to you. Oh my god, look at this. Look at this manly man. He has chainmail around his fucking... Around his fucking crotch. Hello? Yes? Look at his wide face. He's okay. so wide. Da, 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 da. Sixty percent for a thirty percent price increase. Mm. Hello. Hi, I'm just here to see. Good afternoon. I can't believe Archmage Traven sacrificed himself to save us all. How noble of him. What a shame. <laughs> what a shame! The way he said that. Oh my god, that that is just priceless. Greetings to you. Hello. So yeah, we know where to stay. We uh, where to stay during the night. Do they have nice wine? Rose thorn meat. Ooh. Uh, can't get can't get caught in taking that. Wemmer history and culture. No. Wait, they have all but the third Barantia. They have marble cheese. Oh, I can already smell it. Yeah, okay, 30, that means like 40, 45, something like that. Ooh, look at all of these. All of these nice shrooms. Come on, give me. I'm not really into alchemy. Hmm. Oh, this is a nice looking uh, perspective here. You can even see Chadenhall's uh, two towers from over here. Alright, so if it's not here, then where might it be? I 
can see frost crack from over here. Ah. Is there something here? Yes, there it is. Hello, A. <sighs> Fantastic. Finally, pristine. Pristine spire. Yeah. Yeah, I can see what you mean. Yeah. 100, yeah, okay. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I can, t I, I, I totally understand you. Question is, uh, can you just move in and do all of the, uh, do all of the kitchen work afterwards, or will you not have time for that? Because as much as it costs, there's also the question of time. Wait, was there supposed to be like a special music for this? Let's like stop better music systems. Dynamic music system. Okay. I mean, as for the bath, do you have do you have some, and do you have a contact that can do uh, all of the heavy work for you? Okay, it seems like DMS isn't changing anything about this. Okay, give me the mine and cave playlist. Interesting place here, isn't it? Okay. Well, then I would say it's still probably a good idea to do it. It's going to take a bit to uh, to get into the new flat, but I mean, it always take it always takes a lot of effort to get it into <laughs> living condition. Whoa! Holy fuck! What the fuck is that? What are you, and why do you exist? I am silence. Are you fucking kidding me? You are the saddest reskin I have ever seen. It sounds like a good idea, honestly. If your flat, current flat is that small. Holy fuck, what are those sounds? If your current flat is that small, you should probably uh, consider how long you want to stay in there. Do 
these sound effects. This looks cool, but I'm a bit, I'm a bit puzzled about the origins of this. This looks nothing like any of the other dungeons I've seen so far. Well, except for the other spires. Also, what are these? And all of these crystals. You know what I like about this? It's that you don't need extra lighting. Okay, guys, don't step on these plates. I have a feeling. It's a spider! Kill it! Kill it! Just kill it! Kill it before it can lay eggs. Speckled Spider Daedra. Something about these is a tad weird. Okay, seems like these pressure plates don't do much. Everything is glowing and has these runes on them. Almost as if this was made... As if this cave was made to contain this stuff. All of these clear crystals... What do they mean? Oh, that was easy. different la are these carved out of the stone or are they is the stone made around them Oh, they were fighting each other. Interesting. 
ten minutes into the dungeon and she gives you this look. Let's go back and check where the steeper path around okay guys let, let's let's fall back let's fall back let's kill the, let let's let them kill each other let's let them kill each other let's see about the rest the buffing reminds me I still have to watch it Overlord. Home touch of rage. All of this is useless. I couldn't. Uh, maybe I shouldn't. Whoa! Holy fuck! What? This is Sevilla. Holy fuck! Oh my god! place is actually larger than I thought. <laughs> As they always say. It's not the size that matters, it's the inside. Oh, what you... Even the ceiling rocks are speckled. Come on, come on, let me through. Come here, come on. Uh, there's nothing there. Come on. Always remember, kids. That sounds otherworldly. I'm getting slight bloodborne vibes from this. Hello there. You know what? Let me just switch to. Ah, uh... oh, wait, no, no, wrong one. Two lightning storm. That was enough. Ooh, wait a second. Those are new. Maybe these things really are just lamps. 8,000. Ring of Retribution. Not bad. 
Three flawless diamonds. Grand ring of light. Fifty foot. Not bad. This goes even deeper. You know what, let me try out that new fancy ring. Maybe it's better than all of the stuff that I am currently... Oh yes! Look at the range that this has. Yeah, I can take off the la and the lantern. Hello. I would like to contest with that life force of you. Come on. Really interesting. Oh, look. Light, weak. Hmm. Okay, it seems like this wasn't just a distraction. not climb over that yeah you have a right this has dead space vibes Maybe this is space, but in surreal. My biggest question is why are there butterflies? Why are there butterflies around here? It's not my biggest question, but. Ugh, come on, is this like... Oh, it's just... Uh, some place you can reach from the other side, okay. Hello! Yeah, now that you say it, these look awfully like reptile thingies. Hello! Yes, finish him off. Yeah, no 
there was something about the Scream's final bo uh, final room. I mean. Let's go through the other one, the other rooms. What is that sound effect? What does it do? Okay, this goes back. They utterly destroy that crocodile. Yeah. Don't die, you're useful. Hmm. You're not too bad. Five fatigue pants. And it's pretty okay, I guess. Yeah, I, I knew I could, uh, I could lean into that feeling. That was a final room. And we don't have to go back. What is that sound? Something about this makes me uneasy. Look, it's the Lord Vessel. Uh, 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 Dark Souls reference. Uh, which path? First. Now. Completed the quest reconstruction Bruma. Perfect. We got free XP. Okay, maybe this isn't... Maybe this is the final room? Ooh, look at those giant ones. Clearly must be... Not you again. Oh. Nice lantern though, thank you. Whoops. Crashed. I guess that was the final room. <laughs> it was too powerful. I'll be back in a minute and get myself a martini.
That was an interesting loading screen description. Alrighty. Ah, I guess all of that stuff again. Let's make it quick. I guess... I wish there was, like, batch spellcasting. That allows me to just... cast all of these three at once. Not that I can, but I would like to. Um, da, 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 fuck. Uh, zip. Hello. Uh, wait, where is it? There we go. Good. Let's get the stuff here. Well, what? Did I just fall flat on my face? For no other reason than exhaustion? Exhaustion is not... Is not allowed. Exhaustion is illegal. Mm-hmm. Okay, here we go. Eerie fucking sounds, I swear. Silence, really? Holy moly! All of this looks like a final bot, a final room. Low droning noise gives me connections. Is that an Among Us sound effect? What are these sound effects? On what are these butterflies doing here? This is so atmospheric. Okay. 
go to the final room. Not bad stuff. This is the final room. Yes. Is that what I think it is? Guys, are you ready for interdimensional travel? Okay, you know what, man. Let's get this over with quickly. One. Two, three, four, five. Okay. We get some day of teeth. Oh. What is that object? Ebony die katana. Hmm. Looks okay. I guess I'll take it. I think that's about to uh, involve It's going to involve some uh, interdimensional tra time travel Well then let's get let's play 40 chess guys.
Okay, maybe I should take that ring off. I have no idea what's behind that portal. I already have 37 damage. Wow. That's a lot. Fuck. Yes! Enter the ominous portal! For it is all we do in this... in this goddamn game. What the fuck? What on earth is this? Whoa! What in oblivion is that? Luna, 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 Luna. Enter battle mode. Uh. Okay. Summon one for the physical. Another one for backup. And engage. Yes! Okay, this needs... I'm sorry to break it to you, but you are going to die today. to just laugh after it, it died. Warlock Skull. Frostfall, book 10. Elite Captive. Okay, what's the skull say? I mean, not that I can read it, but... Yeah, I can't read it. No, yeah, okay. this 
ginkgo leaves. Those are really rare. Void souls. Bound gauntlets. Burning touch. Four flawless diamonds. Not gonna lie. Exactly my jam. Exactly my jam. Ha 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 ha. Warlock torch and the warlock roguelith. Okay, what the? What is the? Warlock torch look like. Whoa, that is metal. Look at this. This is the most epic screenshot I will ever make in this game. It even has particle effects dragging around. Okay, this was pretty damn cool. Too bad Rune Tail wasn't around to see it. <laughs> okay then. Okay, let's go back to Varus and all the others. I think this is all. Then let's use uh, quick save and get extricated. Wait, what? No. Okay, I guess we have to we have to go back the entire way. Not you again. Oh yeah, you had a lantern, right? Can I have that lantern? I don't know why this and why that one guy is so bugged out. He really shouldn't be following me anymore. I guess extrication doesn't bring you to Tamriel, but just, and not the parent world space, but just the one you were last in. Which is a tad weird. Unless that weird astral realm was the parent world space of this. In which case, hmm. Hmm. Very intriguing. You know what I don't get is why some people just try to ascend and shit, but then they're like, but then they're like all lonely in this fucking small astral realm where there's absolutely nothing. Like they have millennia to do stuff and they just don't do anything. Like what's the point? You know? You get me? I have gems, 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 that I have money, 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 I'm making YouTube money. 
Okay, uh, let's see. Where do we go? Uh, Varus. Varus. Varus lives at the fucking... At that, uh, fucking, um, the archaeology guild, right? So let's go to the archaeology guild. Just right away. Do tell, I don't really plan on watching Danmachi anytime soon. Russian guy, are you ready? Because I have something for you. You have since started to worry me. You visited those coordinates? I found another spire. Another one. I knew it. And it's covered in those glowing glyphs? More than that. Excellent find. Give me that waypoint. I've got to get a closer look at these glyphs. Dude, dude, check this out first. What's this? It's ancient alien. Ah, oh, an alien scroll. You see, this writing here is alien. Quite recognizable. The voice actress. Fulan and Sovar have found several of these throughout the years. I can read bits of it, but it makes no sense. Like this line. A pure heart illuminates the entangled eye. <laughs> I'm sure I'm reading it correctly, but it sounds like a metaphor, or an illusion. Take it to Sovar. She'll make more sense of it than I ever could. Thank you. You'll get a reward. Take this key to this black head. Thank you. Remember, my offer. Okay, I wonder what this play case B is. Uh, J... Uh, is this G? Whatever. Let's go to Sova. Hello! Hi, Sova. Did you already hear about Teve? What do you mean? About the artifact you found? Yeah. No. Teve... Teve's dead. What? And not just him. His assistants, too. Just following news of Teve's discovery, a group of bandits broke into the excavation site and killed everyone there. Only one assistant survived.
They looted all their supplies, money, and the artifacts. When Rythor arrived what? at the site, he found Teeth, Assistant Cernus, and Assistant Seru dead. God. Only Assistant Mojin survived. It's heartbreaking. Teeth was a great man. He never harmed anyone. Teeth wasn't all that great. <laughs> God, why did I give you this dialogue option? <laughs> No, Tivu, Tivu wasn't all that great. Tivu. Honestly, honestly, at this point, I think, yeah. yeah. Let's, let's not be an asshole. Tivu was, Tivu will live on in other memories. Tivu will live on in other memories. You're right. We you have, have to focus, focus on, on the, the positive. There is no positive. We love everything. Just as we did after Solon. You came here for some other reason, though. What is it? Oh, look at this. Where did you get this? You know this is an Iliad scroll? I have translated several others like it, but they're notoriously figurative. <laughs> Just as the Iliad. The heart illuminates the entangled eye. You'll need to give me some time with this. I'm sure I can crack it, but it won't happen overnight. Yeah, I can While get I this. While I start working on this, go speak with Norlene. She has some business for you concerning Teeth. Yeah. Advancement. Ah, I'm glad you reminded me. With Teeth gone, we're going to need your help all the more. I'm promoting you to aspirant. Your responsibilities nice. have grown beyond just mere enforcement. Fantastic. I'm just as pu I'll try digging into Solon's records. Perhaps he'd... Aliad scrolls are very distinctive. You can tell immediately if you... Now, the real trick is making sense of them. Mm -hmm. Solon was great at it, though. That was partially the reason for his great progress. I'm also a legislator now. A ceremony will be held for Teeth tonight at 11 o'clock. We have set up a pyre just outside the guild hall. Please join us in his remembrance tonight. When the time comes, speak to one of us, and we will begin the ceremony. To be safe, why don't you wait until 11 o'clock now? Mm. Until you return. 6.25, okay. Wait, in the morning? Turn on the music again. Uh, where the fuck did I want to go? So let's see. Uh, a vengeance unfulfilled. Norlean. Oh, so you've... S that is good news, but it looks like we'll have our work cut out for months to come. You should tell Varus about this discovery. Bye. Bye-bye. Norlene. Where does Norlene sleep? Is that the spec is D? Okay. Norlene. Okay. It's getting really laggy right now. Hello. Let's conclude Deep's funeral before we discuss other matters. Sure. Until next time.
Okay, where's this play case? B. Oh, it's this thing. What is this? It's a psychotic chili. I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it. This is... I'm not gonna say it. I know it could, but I'm not gonna say it. Looking at it is alone sufficient. Looking at it alone, it's sufficient to cause seizures. Consuming it would permanently alter one's physical constitution. The effect would surely be volatile and dependent on one's luck. What's my luck again? It's 108. Okay, I have no problems with this. It gives me spicy salt. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, man. Let's just fucking let's just fucking try it out. Let's just try it out. What does that thing do? It doesn't do anything actually. Okay, let's try it out. Let's eat it. Are you sure you want to consume the psychotic chili? Yes. Oh, fuck. You have survived. You were only able to hold the chili in your tongue for a mere five seconds. This experience has left you with a ferocious chili-induced psychosis. You now also possess the power to self-induce psychosis once per day. Drain Intelligence, 10. Weakness to Frost, 50. Fortify Endurance, 20. Resist Fire, 100. Damn. And gives you ref 7. Reflect damage. Interesting. Self induced psychosis. Eighty percent resist paralysis one hundred, fortify two hundred, silence for one hundred twenty seconds. Damn. I Me, mean, I can still cast magic. So, what does it ex do exactly? So it drains my intelligence 10. That's not exactly an issue. That the 50% frost weakness is a bit of a problem. It fortify endurance, but my endurance is minus two. What? Eh? Wait, did that consume the chili? Okay. 
Let me reload this and uh, first level up or something. I mean, I got a level up. That's also pretty good. Level 34. There's a bit much in it. I would say we can get myself up to speed. <laughs> Seems like I wanted to level up mysticism to 100. So let's do that. Actually, let me... Let me see something. You can now attack while jumping or falling. Eh, who cares? Nah, nah. Why would I need personality or speech growth? Who needs that? You know what? Let's put some more points into sneak. Nice. Yeah, I think this is a better upgrade for this time. This way I can get a lot more spells. Yeah, much better. Now I have expert in all but one magic skill. And the rest I can just, I don't know, I can just train a lot. So let's see again what the psychotic chili does. Gives me Erosis psychosis and self induced psychosis. Yeah, let's see again. So it gives me uh, 7 flex damage permanently. One hundred resist fire, which is pretty intense.
for a 20% endurance Fifty percent frost weakness. Yeah, that's uh, that's a bit of a problem, I guess. And it also drains my intelligence by ten points. That's a bit. Of, uh, uh, it doesn't seem to matter really. Did that do anything? Seems like the attributes are still damaged. Drain willpower. Well, that's the hood. Why is my strength being drained? Well, anyways, I think that was a, a not a bad not a bad decision. I mean, how often am I going to Bruma? <laughs> Frost is like one of the r rarest effects in the game. Who cares about it? Also, having some weaknesses is good for the health. All right then, let's uh, wait. Let's wait until uh, 10 p. Uh, until 11 p.m. Fifteen hours, I think. Just loiter around for fifteen fucking hours. Why ain't there any music? Aspirant, you're just brave. Right, I'm not looking shady as usual. This had better be important. Well, it is.
got something for me? No. Let us observe a moment of silence. This had better be important. Good to see you. Norlene. Let us... Hello there. Hello. This had better be important. Oh, Go back to your room and then we can talk. Huh? Can... Do I have to push you? Please. What? Oh, there we go. Good to see you. <laughs> I mean, it's uh, not that sad to me, really, because I haven't really known T for too long. And a lot of people I know happen to mysteriously die. Mysterious circumstances. <clears throat> yeah, so... Norlene. Let us. Um, but. Well, it's already over, isn't it? Aspire, I ah, need your help. You already know of Teeth's death, but this matter doesn't end there. Hmm. Why so? I still haven't come to grips with it. It, it feels surreal. The music is too loud. A dream at times. But then I realize it's not. This incident with Teve cannot go unexamined. I've been delegated to pursue an official investigation into his death. Mm -hmm. The guilds put up with our share of looters, grave robbers, and unscrupulous collectors long enough. This time they've gone too far. I mean, stealing artifacts is one thing, and we've put up with it despite the setbacks it's cost us, but attacking our members cannot be tolerated. We must pursue the responsible entities at all costs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I gotcha. So, who's that? I have my suspicions. Mm hmm Those bandits that killed Teeth, what are the chances they stumbled onto that excavation site by accident? Yeah, that's true. Before Teeth was killed, he sent us news of a great discovery at the Spire. He had found an ancient weapon and a scroll. If this news leaked to some treacherous collector, those bandits oh, could have been the ones that, at the um, Spire. Yeah. I've recently overheard that Roden Dakan, a wealthy collector residing in Shaden Hall, has acquired a new sword specimen. I'd like you to investigate this matter. I see, yeah. Ascertain whether Dakan's new sword was acquired from the Spire. If not, double check anyway. And if so, well, I don't think I need to tell you how to deal with Dakan. Yeah. Bye. Guys. We're going to Satan Hall. Uh. Okay, so like zero thirty one four, okay.
Before we do all that, let's go to the fucking collector's guild and which is right next door and sell some shit. So we can get sweet YouTube money. Hello. Makes this smell. Hello. Read any good books lately? Picked up Hi Frontier there. Conquest. Yes. I haven't read much. Oh yeah, you know what? We need to finish your quest sometime someday. Rune tail. Been put it I've put it up for a long time. I ran across a couple of mud crabs not long ago. See you. Annoying creatures. Be seeing you. Horrid beasts. I hate the things. Goodbye. How are you? Great. Skin them all. We're all talking about the Emperor's murder. Hello, I cat. Had no emperor. Had no heir. That's never happened before. So yeah, let's uh, get some wealthy stuff off of him. You too. Hello. Well met. Do you sell Let's stuff? Business. Okay, you sell. Oh, holy fuck! Okay. Items. Amulets. Forty-five base stuff. Nine amulets. No, it's too much. Bye. It. It's my pleasure. Kizanagi. Only quality goods for sale here. What can I interest you in? I would go. I offer the finest goods and lowest prices in all Cyrodiil. Oh, they all say that. Can you like? Okay, that's like five hundred. Another satisfied. Yes, thank you. Take care. Stuck his tongue to his axe. <laughs> Serves him right. What do you want? I want to. Oh, you don't. Well, what do you want? Do you sell stuff? Hello, Good Niria. I think this is where I got my nice uh, fucking sword from. The one that I previously used. Lucian, last chance. Ha 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 ha. Funny joke. Well met. You don't. Good day. You don't sell stuff right now. Damn, look at this place. Uh, 
This doesn't look like it's from... Oh, wait a second. That's an interesting... Interesting book here. Vivek. Oh, it's Morrowind. Yeah, it's like it's like Var it's Vardenfell, but upside down, I think. Well, anyways. I've sold my ship. Anyone here? Can you sell stuff to me? I hope I can help. No, you can't. You too. Kudas on this. That's a tad weird. Considering your Kuda doesn't exist anymore. Okay, take the rest of this. We're going to the Imperial City to... Uh, Sell some more stuff. Damn, they have a really nice guild hall. I guess that's to be expected if you're the collector's guild. Okay, off to the Imperial City we go. Off to the Market District. Have the hands of a healer. You have the eyes of a lizard. What time is it? It's 3 a.m. Ah, come on, let's just get inside and sit in a bar or something. I have 10,000 gold on me. I need to get rid of this. What can I do for you, Archmage? What was curiosity? Uh, whatever. Juno's guest house. Perfect. <sighs> Hello. It's 3 a.m. Well, a pleasure to... I need... Oh, fuck. Have a look around. You won't find better prices in all Tamriel.
That's more than I'd usual. A fine trans. That's a fair deal. Perfect. Thank you. She's this is such a fake smile. Farewell. Okay, guys, let's sit down and wait for like I don't know, fucking know, three hours. Four hours till so seven a.m. When do the shops open? The prey approaches. <sighs> I don't see the problem. I don't see the problem. I think this is something that happens every day. Sirion's grocery shop is still closed. I don't know if I like this. Hail, good citizen. How can uh, all of them are still closed. Fuck. When do they open? Oh, is the fishmonger already open? I would love some fish. Why is the fishmonger not open yet? Come on. Public bathhouse. I don't know, then let's go to the fucking bathhouse for a quick, for a quick, uh, for a quick skinny dip. I still wonder whether these are broken textures. Please go to the change out of your clothes. <laughs> Whoops. Well, no one else is here. No one will notice. Okay, it's 8 a.m. Let's check outside if they if they are clo if they are still closed. <laughs> Yes, the bank is still is already open. No, come on. Ugh. So annoying. Scrapper. The Archaeology Guild. Ooh! It's the sun! And it's so quiet. Today, the last to read today's Black Horse Courier. That sure looks like a vampire. Greetings. If you've got to travel. By the nine divine, stay on the road. Yes, now it's open. Fantastic. Hello. Well met. Welcome. May I interest you in some of my fine wares? Okay, I would like to sell some stuff to you. You know the drill. 
Okay, this time I have seven flawless diamonds. But uh, you will not be able to buy most of these, right? So I'm gonna sell one to you and... You drive a hard and one flawless to pass. Come back. <laughs> Actually, do you have like anything that I can better prices in all Tamriel? Nope. Good day. Yeah, I guess I'm your gem provider. God damn it. <sighs> Give me a second. It's okay, Cal. I'm gonna let you out. so much harder recently. It's more interesting, but it's harder. <sighs> Heard any news from the other provinces? Nothing I'd like to talk about. Good day. Locking's become more difficult lately. But more interesting. What, what the fuck are you talking about? Okay, let's go to the Mystic Emporium real quick and sell some more shit. <laughs> Hello. A pleasure to speak. Da, 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 da. Only quality goods for sale here. What can I interest you in? They're not much. They don't. Hmm. You know what, you can take these rune skulls. I don't care much for them. Do you have something good? Not really, do you? Yes, I take one of You've these. I don't good care. Bit of gold. Another's. Good day. Welcome to the Mystic. Only quality goods for sale here. What can I interest you in? I just take these two. I don't know. Up. I just want money. Good day. Bye bye. Okay, let's try Paloneria again. She's the one holding us off from. She's the only one holding us from uh, finishing another quest. She doesn't want to do it. A pleasure to speak. Farewell. Do you have a personality potion or something? Well met. Take your time. I should have a spell for that. Be seeing you. A pleasure to s take your time. Do I have to get past ninety?
Hmm. Damn it. Should I bribe? Good good day. Yeah, let's see if bribing Seven. helps. One. Thank you. How kind. No, it doesn't work. What can I interest you in? Do you buy my uh, fucking diamonds for a reasonable price? You don't buy them at all, fuck. Bye. Bye. Told a joke. I did tell her a joke. The fuck. Okay, come on. Let's get us uh, some a bit more money. Edgar Vautrin, you don't want the very best. You want cheap. May I interest you in some of my fine wares? Even more funny it is to think about enchanted weapons. You need the souls of courageous you are slaying to power the tools you are going to slay them with. Let's do business. Oh, they are worthless when you use them up, okay. Give me like 10, yeah, give me that much. Give me all of these. Wow. That's a fair deal. I 20,000. Farewell. Nice. And we haven't even sold the armor. Let's get on. Let's sell some of the weapons and then, and then get the money in the bank. And then we're off to trade and all. You're still gonna use it? Okay, then at least let me re repair it.
pleasure. Mm -hmm. Let's do business. Okay. That's more than I'd usually pay. Yeah, sure, that's what they all say. Okay, um... Glass mace, I don't know. That seems a fair price. Yeah, I think so too. Good, okay. Tell you. Bye bye. You too. You're getting this one back. Can you please give me the Daikatana? Because I'm going to Go give the please. Daikatana to uh, Luna. Ghostly Mace to me, yeah, and you're gonna use the Die Katana. Okay, well then, let's go. closed. Oh my god, why is it closed? I just want to put my money there, please. Come on. or something. There we go. Bank opens at 10 a.m. Hello. Good company. Welcome to the Bank of Zero Deal. I can't see your face. I would like to dis deposit gold. 10,000. What's my account balance? Seventy-five thousand. Nice. Not bad. Have a wonderful day. I've earned ten percent in interest now. That's pretty good. All right then. I don't know if I can help. And let's get outside and teleport to Channel where we'll probably stop up for today. What the hell is going on in the server? That's such a nice view. See that place over there? Luna? Ruin tail? I swear we haven't had not 
One day I want to make one of these really fucked up spells that let you jump across the entire map. Oh, and it crashed. Perfect moment to stop. 